Right, okay guys, so as promised, I said that we was going to have a look at this joystick I'd recently picked up, the Arcade R Retro Joystick. And just going to show you it a little bit more clearer, because I put a little short up, but obviously you couldn't see it too well. Let's hold this up just a little bit closer. So as you can see, it's a nice see-through blue. And if I'm honest, the camera really doesn't do it justice. It does look really nice. It's got a nice clicky buttons. Nice clicky joystick. And basically what we're going to be doing is putting this through its paces a bit. So there's a couple of things I just want to tell you about it. Is it came in a pretty unassuming box. But it's very well padded as you can see and it had a flap on top now there is there was some assembly required um only minor things uh for example i had to put the what they call the dust cover on this dome here and then there's a little rubber washer that goes on just to hold it down to stop it moving up and down and then you had to screw the ball on and of course these are all things that they it's best for them to do because then you can fit it in a smaller box you can pad it out there you can protect it so it all makes perfect sense really but it also came with these two bits um and i now can't get them apart shall i say three bits there's three well it's more two two wiring looms we'll talk about that a bit later on though so what we're going to see next is a bit of gameplay we playing two or three games just to put it for its, its paces, if you like, see how good it is. So we're going to go over to that now. Right, okay, so let's try this joystick out on Load Runner. Oh, I've got to say, actually, I'm quite impressed with how good this joystick is. It's very responsive. Just what you'd expect, really, from a micro switch joystick, really. Very good. It's nice and responsive, does everything I want it to do when I want it to do it. Just got to get that last crate. Ah, uh, no good. Yep, down he comes. This is uh, Load Runner, one of my favourite games actually, I really enjoy this game. And that's level one. Figured try it with this game because it's uh, this one requires a lot of movement, so it's a perfect game to test this out with. Oh, come on, jump down. There we go, they're all down. Yeah, very good. It's so responsive. If you've had a Commodore 64 in the past and you used some of the old joysticks, you'd know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of the old joysticks were not very responsive unless you had like a Competition Pro or a Zip Stick maybe. Uh, Zipstick was my favourite. I used to use that quite a lot. Oh, I should have gone down the other ladder. Made a mistake there. Damn, they're going to get the drop on me. Oh, that one guy. Come on, full. That's it. Oh, I'm not going to make the next one, am I? Oh, maybe I will. Yeah, very good game to test this out on because it's up and down, side to side. You're constantly moving. All right, I've got one more to get. Oh, and I got caught. Right, next game. Right, I felt I had to put this one on here because it's a great game. Good for testing this joystick out. And of course, also, it's Retrobait's favourite as well as mine. Great game. Takes a lot of wiggling of the joystick, so this will really test it. The only thing you might find is my gameplay might not be that great. I haven't played this much in recent times. Very good so far though. 
missed all of them, no good. Fantastic soundtrack, love the music of Commando. This was a game I used to play a lot back in the day. Oh, I've died. But it's very responsive, it's just my gameplay if I'm honest. Got to get some practice in on this game. Ah, oh, I walked right into that. But this is a game where you are constantly side to side. So you need a good joystick. If you try and play this with something that's not up to par, you're going to die very quickly. Now I do realise that I can push space for the grenades, but I'm really trying to test the joystick at the moment. So, concentrate more on the fire. And I'm dead. And I'm still going, right? How am I not out of lives yet? I should have been out of lives, I'm sure I should have. Right, I think that'll do us there. Right, bit of bubble bubble. Love this game. And I prefer this version overall because of the music. Played it on so many different platforms, but you can't beat this one. The Sid chip just does such a fantastic job with this. But we're not on about we're not here to talk about the seed chip, we're here to talk about this joystick. And I've gotta say I'm very impressed. Very responsive. Perfect sort of game to try this out on, if I'm honest. Now there are a couple of things with this joystick that I'll point out in the final thoughts. Um, because I have noticed one slight issue. But it's fixable and I'll explain why oh man why is it whenever you start recording your gameplay you always play terrible I was kicking a granny out of these earlier uh, dead and I was at like, level 7 earlier but anyway that'll do I think right okay final thoughts so, as you would have seen there, it plays the games very well. It's a really good joystick, actually. I'm, I'm really happy with this. It's really good. I mean, back when I had my Commodore 64 originally, I, um, I used to use a zip stick. Now, a lot of people probably use the Competition Pro, but I, I preferred the zip stick myself. But I, if I remember, I don't remember the zip stick being uh, micro-switched. I don't think it was. Competition Pro was, though, I think you'll find. So, yeah, so it's, it's interesting because, I mean, this is a micro switch and it's, it's very good. Like, you would have seen from the uh, footage that it's very reactive. It, it does everything you want when you want it to. However, there are a couple of things. So, number one, the size of the ball on the top, it's not very big. I've got quite big hands, so I found... The size of this was a little bit too small for me. You know, I, I had to use just my two fingers. You, you couldn't use your hand, you know. So I think it could have probably done with a slightly larger ball on the end, but maybe it's just that I've got big ends. I don't know, but that, that's one little problem. Uh, the other one is that you've only got one fire button working, this one. But there's a reason for that. That's where these come in. You can put these in and basically set up the other button. Now, from what I've read, it's a tiny little instruction thing, which I'll be honest, is not very clear. Uh, it looks like if you're playing it on Amiga, you can set it up so that it uses the two buttons for different functions. But you can also set it up so that it will use both buttons for the same function. The other thing is you've got auto fire or rapid fire. I found that was a bit hit and miss on some games, but you found that with a lot of Commodore 64 games anyway. Quite often... If you used anything with a rapid fire or auto fire, it didn't always work on all games. And if it did work, it all wasn't always auto. It would dip out every now and again. So this is nothing unusual. 
that's more to do with the Commodore 64 itself. So, so that's not too much of a problem. But one of the things I found was the port. If you do pick up one of these, just be a little bit careful when you plug it in. It's not like the old joysticks where you had to give them a proper good, you know, wiggle about to get it in there. With this, it won't go all the way in. So don't force it because you'll end up breaking your, your C64 or Amiga or whatever you're using it on. So, yeah, it only goes in just a little amount and it works. So, yeah, I, I'm very impressed. I'm glad I got this. It was well worth the money. And that is the point, actually. I haven't told you how much yet, have I? So I got this for $34.95 on eBay, uh, and that's postage included. Now, you might be thinking, that's quite a bit for a joystick, but you pay quite a lot for a really old zip stick or competition pro these days anyway. And the chances are that you're probably going to break it within a certain amount of time. These old joysticks, they don't last very long. So you're going to end up doing maintenance or possibly buying a new one if you completely trash it. So for me, it was worth paying that little bit extra to get a brand new up-to-date version, which is basically what this is. And at least then you know it's going to last. So I'm very happy with my purchase. So I, I would give this a 9 out of 10. This is really good. Very impressed with it. And I'm just going to add at the end here, the reason I found this joystick in the first place was because a channel called Mark's, Mark Fixes Stuff, he did a teardown of this. And one of the things I found out from that is that inside the, uh, is it called the gate, the bit that goes at the bottom of the joystick, like the arcade machines, you can swap it out. So you can have the... Uh, is it octagonal one? You can have the side to side if you're just playing side to side games on it. You can change them. So I thought that was pretty good as well. And I found that out from his teardown. So that was another reason for buying it. It means that if I want to switch things out, I can do. So yeah, very good all round joystick. Personally, I think it's great the way it is. But if you if you're into someone who's into modding things like that, then it's perfect. So and it's great for these old systems. So Good to find something that's in the present day, brand new, but works well on the old systems. In fact, probably better than the original joysticks we had back then. I actually think this is better than the zip stick, and the zip stick was my favourite. So, yeah, very impressed. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, consider giving us a subscribe because we are going to be doing a lot of things on the channel over the next coming weeks. Uh, we've got dad versus lad coming up or it might have already come up depending on when i put this video up um and we're going to be doing a lot of other things as well so consider subscribing because that way you'll be notified the minute we do it so right okay and until next time take care stay safe nerdy geezer out